Now at 530, illegal street racing in the South Bay takes a deadly turn when one vehicle involved crashes into a tree. I'm Veronica De La Cruz. I'm Alan Martin. Happened last night on Santa Teresa Boulevard near Lean Avenue in San Jose. And we are learning this evening that this tragedy involves a group of cousins in those cars. KPI X5's Kit Doe has the story. San Jose police are investigating this crash as a case of street racing between two vehicles. Earlier today, family members visiting the scene dropped a bombshell saying that all parties involved in both vehicles, they were all cousins, apparently. And now San Jose police wants the driver of the other car to give them a call and sort this whole thing out. It's hard to tell from the mangled wreckage, but this used to be a Pontiac Trans Am. In the passenger seat are the remains of David Mandujano. Investigators say the Trans Am was racing with a black Camaro going eastbound on Santa Teresa Boulevard when the Trans Am lost control and slammed into a pine tree just before Lean Avenue. The driver of the Trans Am is now in the ICU and faces charges of felony DUI. David, however, died at the scene. It's more like just an impact, like a big thud. Helen Henderson came running out after hearing the impact and saw a second vehicle pulled over. Other witnesses said that car, a black Camaro, was also racing. I saw a gentleman come out and go into the center medium where the car was, and um, he was peeking in the window and crying, obviously upset, and calling somebody's name. I didn't hear what name. The police showed up. He was there for a few minutes, parked in his car over there, and then I saw him drive away. San Jose police have not yet confirmed if they're all indeed cousins, but say it's best for the other driver to come clean. We do want to hear from that other driver, and it's better that we, um, that this person come forward and contact us so that we could get this investigation, you know, underway, um, than us trying to prolong it by trying to figure out who the other Camaro, the driver of the other Camaro was. David was 24 years old, had recently graduated with a degree in criminal justice, was a cadet in the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Deputies Academy, and had recently applied to be a police officer in Nevada. He leaves behind a large family in San Jose. It's sad because, I mean, you're supposed to protect your family and keep them out of situations like this. And when they're racing each other, they have to know that it's no good can come out of something like that. In San Jose, Kit Doe, KPIX5. Now, just recently, the city of San Jose announced it is cracking down on illegal street racing and sideshows. A new ordinance would make it illegal to even watch it. Spectators could face jail time or hefty fines.